Okay, this is the follow-up to the box opening on the Cheetah. Just wanted to go over a few of the new features on the Hang Long Tanks. They are really, really getting sophisticated. I'm actually kind of impressed. First, this tank is both Airsoft and IR. It comes with this tiny little apple that uh, mounts what you do with the apple. It's pretty simple, really. You open this hatch. There's a plug down in there for the apple. You plug it in, and it's got a magnet, and it just sticks right there. And now you're ready. And uh, that's all it takes for IR. For airsoft, you just load BBs into it in the other hatch. Um, they've got some really sophisticated stuff on here that I, I, I really like. They're features that I've been asking for. Um, the tank comes with this sheet of paper that shows you all the different functions. Okay, like now you can turn your headlight on and off from the transmitter. You can uh, adjust the track recoil setting from the transmitter. So anyway, um, we'll start her up as usually. Just push the start button. I want to try and get this so you can see both tank and transmitter. Okay, well now if you push button G is is a lot of the G turns off the headlight. Push it forward, it turns it back on. You can see the headlight flipping on and off. All right, then if you push G and K, it adjusts your track recoil. You've got three different uh, strength levels. Oh, so I'm sorry, that's uh, uh, G and K together are your sound systems. You've got four different sound systems to uh, choose from, including sounds for the M1 Abrams. Um, I'm looking for I'm looking for how to do the track recoil. They've got a, uh, uh, an adjustment in here where they're intending to put in barrel stabilization systems. It's got provisions for Wi-Fi. Uh, then if you push button K and button S, it gives you the track recoil adjustment. Okay, now there's one, two, three. That's uh, The third one was the minimum. We're on the minimum now. There's your middle track recoil. And here's your heavy. That's heavy track recoil. So we'll call it light track recoil, medium track recoil, heavy track recoil. Personally, I prefer the light. And then when you do uh, fire the cannon, which is different now, um, you'll get that amount of recoil. Now to fire the cannon, you push the cannon button and then push and hold it down and then push the machine gun button. And you can see very little track recoil. Let's just set it for heavy for a second. And now I'll shoot it at heavy. See how much more track recoil you get there? We'll go back to the light. And again, you push the machine gun button and then the, or the cannon button and then the machine gun button and hold it. You got you still gotta hold it until it fires. See, if you take off in the middle it. So you could probably like preload your airsoft cannon. And then when it shoots the airsoft cannon, it also uh, emits the IR signal from the emitter, which I'm assuming is, is where the red light was. There's no, more, uh, there's no more light when you turn on the airsoft unit. So anyway, <clears throat> some of the features, like I said, are really impressive. You can turn the smoke on and off from the uh, transmitter. And the smoker's not too bad. You've got volume adjust. I'm at highest right now. We're going to go to nothing. There's nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six different levels of sound, and then you go back to nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we are at the highest level. I thought we were, and back to nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, nothing. Personally, I think it could use a little more volume at its uh, highest setting, but it's still pretty good. Now, the low speed control is really excellent. She'll creep along at that speed all day. So your low speed control is really, really good.
Now I've noticed that when you go to turn, when you're moving and you go to turn, you, it, it has like a minimum turn amount. And, uh, and that's not quite so good in my opinion. I think that the drivability of this tank is still not as good as the Taijin tanks. They've still got better motor controllers, they're still easier to drive, especially at high speed. But Hanglong has come a long way. <coughs> my first Hanglong tank had the 27 megahertz FM system in it, and, and it was, you know, compared to this, it was just horrible. Now a couple of the other features that they have on the uh, on the new transmitter are the ability to turn on and off your back light, your tail light, and your brake light. <clears throat> of course this tank doesn't have those, so those features are more for the Leopard and the Abrams. But they really have come a long way. And as far as I can tell, there's no difference in the uh, this transmitter from the last series. There's a difference in the way it functions, but not in its physical appearance. This is the transmitter that I got with the Cheetah. And you know, if anybody can tell me why they call it a Cheetah, I'd like to hear it because I've always thought it was a Yag Panther. Why they're advertising it, I never heard of a German Cheetah. So if anybody's got info on that, I'd like to hear it. This is the controller that came with uh, my Sherman, which is the like 5.3. It's got up and down barrel elevation. You got to push the cannon button and push the lever all the way forward to fire the cannon. And this is still your machine gun button. So they've basically taken the same transmitter and reassigned some of the functions. And uh, I'm turn it off. They've reassigned some of the functions. So it's still the same transmitter, but it's really easy to use. The only thing I'm having trouble with is on this sheet, there's a lot of different adjustments. And it says, tank forward, left, fine dash turning. I have no idea what that means. I think that you have like uh, different levels of of uh, turning, uh, the quickness of the turning, I I'm not sure. I think this is a problem with the translation from Chinese to English. Kind of like my very favorite one in any Hang Long tank. They tell you to put the smoke fluid in the hole of adding. Okay, <laughs> That's, I mean I figured it out, you know, but you can see there's a lot of differences in the language. So if anybody has the new 6.0 and you understand those features, I'm sure guys would like to know about that. Otherwise, that's the new Hanglong 6.0 system. And uh, it's available in any tank that says 6.0. This one when I bought it on eBay, now this tank delivered was $260, which I think is not that bad a price because it's your basic $100 Hanglong Yag Panther, but they've added metal suspension arms, metal road wheels with rubber tires, metal idlers, metal sprockets, and metal tracks. So that's why the tank itself was appealing to me at that price, because we all know that adding those features on later can be a considerable expense. You're looking at at least 50 bucks for tracks, probably $30 for sprockets and idlers, and probably another $80 for road wheels, then another 15 or 20 for suspension arms. You can see how it adds up quick. So to get this tank for 260 delivered, I thought was a pretty good deal. I even like the paint job on it. It's even got a really good paint job. And it comes with all the standard accessories that a Hang Long Yog Panther will, like the extra tools and the driver and all that. Comes with the BBs that we instantly throw into the trash. Because if you watch my How Airsoft Works, you'll know that that little rubber seal in the front, that's what BBs that are not seamless will destroy. It tears up that, uh, um, that seal and then your Airsoft cannon don't work anymore. That's if you use the BBs that came with the tank. Whenever I look for airsoft BBs, there's one word that I always look for, and I won't buy it unless that word is on there. Now, a lot of them will say things like double polished or match grade, and that's good, that's no problem. But if it doesn't say seamless, if it doesn't say seamless, I won't buy it. And I actually do check the BBs to make sure that there is no seam on the BB. If there's a seam on there, that's what's going to tear up your airsoft unit. I got 5,000 of these for like 15 bucks. They're 0.2 gram. These are, are also biodegradable, but I've never seen one melt. <laughs> so anyway, there you go, fellas. That's the new 6.0 in the Hang Long. Hope that helps somebody, and we'll see you next time.